Welcome to Show Sunday. It is, it is the first Sunday of the month. Uh, as, we said, as I said for the previous uh, discussion we had, 2020 has been an experience. And so I wanted to end this year with our last Show Sunday of 2020 with something that is just nice. And so we watched Hilda, or at least the first six episodes of Hilda. Now, uh, I remember we were talking about this a little bit uh, before, and what came up was sort of, how did I find this? Because, you know, this is not exactly the kind of show that I would seek out. And I legitimately do not remember how I decided, how I found the show, how I decided to watch it. I have no idea. Um, it, again, I saw it sort of like mm, mid-late 2019. Um around when I saw Dragon Prince in the first part of She-Ra, and because those other two, I at least know how I found them. I do not remember how I found this at all. Because um, again, it's not something where like, oh, if I see it on Netflix, I'm going to be like, ooh, let me watch this. You know, it's like, I, I don't know. So I have no idea how I found it, but I am very glad I did because, well, I don't know. It's just, it's just really nice. It's just nice and heartwarming when you have like, a year like 2020 to just see a little kid go on adventures and discover her world. And rescue troll babies. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The color, it, we talked a little bit about this too, but the art style and the colors they used on this is really, really like pleasing to the eye. It's very aesthetic. Yeah. The. I, I've said that this show is kind of has like a perfect like autumn aesthetic. Hmm. It's like all warm tones. You don't. I I tried to pay more attention to it when we were watching it today, and it's like they don't use a lot of like uh cool tone colors. Like <laughs> pretty much the only one is Hilda's hair. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like only like teal sometimes blue but if they can they usually seem to use teal or indigo in place of like cool tones and i find that kind of cool mm -hmm. yeah i feel like i don't know three quarters of the colors are like orangey brown <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which would almost sound like it might be like boring in some cases but no i think it i don't know it works really well it's just the it's just such a great use of color and it just has this really nice feel to it where it's all like it's like cozy i don't know yeah, I think cozy is a good way to put it. It's like the kind of thing, it, it's like a TV show, if you were to make like a cozy fireplace and a cup of hot cocoa into a TV show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can't really point to like any like specific character mm -hmm. or story element or something and be like, oh, that is like really good or anything. Not really, but again, it's just sort of as an overall sort of feeling and mood. It's just, yeah, it's really nice. And especially like, especially for me, it's those first two episodes that I think work really well. Um, mm -hmm. Because this is in the first two episodes, uh, Hilda and her mom are still like kind of living out in the woods. And for me, at least those two episodes, there's this sort of extra layer of like, subtle mystery to everything mm. that I feel is like it's missing a bit once they actually move to Trollberg. And again, the Trollberg stuff is still good, so I'm not, you know, disparaging that. But it's like, I don't know, this is sort of extra layer that is in those first two episodes. It's, it's like, it's a, it's mysterious, but it's not like a threatening kind of mysterious. It's just... Like, it's, it's like, curious. It makes you curious, I guess? Kind of. <laughs> and... Yeah, and again, like, the whole thing with, like, the giants in episode two, I, I don't know, it's kind of, like, it's, like, weirdly emotional, and, yeah. yeah, I don't know, I just, I really like the first two episodes, and then they, after that, again, it's still quite good, though it, it's not quite as good as the first two, I think, but, yeah, and we, we do see, by the way, like, a lot of characters that, like, you know, we you saw in the woods or whatever, you do see at least some of them again. So we'll see the woodman again. Uh, yeah, you definitely see him again. Uh, I know you see uh, the bird again. Uh, you see in this last episode with the the Mara, you see her later as well. Oh. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's anyone else. I can. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but yeah. So. Um, A librarian? I, uh, I think so. 
I don't I don't really remember the librarian honestly, but then I because okay, so another I was like ninety nine percent sure I wasn't gonna show this for December, but then what clinched it was that season two is coming out in actually like eight days when this video is posted. So oh, maybe she'll come back in season well, two. <laughs> again, I don't remember if she's more in season one, but I she must be because I remember that in like the announcement for season two was like a poster and she was on the poster and people were like, Oh, the librarian lady's on the poster and I'm like Oh, I don't even remember Librarian Lady, but okay, so <laughs> so that's something. But uh, yeah, so it's just a lot of like, I don't know, it's kind of strange people, but in like strange and kind of, I don't know, it's like a nice way. I don't know, it's just, it's just everything's just nice. And it's, yeah, like you said, it's just, you know, here's just, you know, young kid slash kids because you kind of get into the group of three, right? And, yeah. you know, they, they, they end up into some troubles, but they're all pretty small scale generally, you know. And I don't know. It's just it's just nice to see them sort of interacting, and yeah, I don't know. There's also like no like overall conflicts. Like you feel like usually for these kinds of things, there's usually like oh, the, like Hilda and her mom wouldn't get along, or there's like some bully in the neighborhood that's always like trouncing on them. Like I think the closest thing to a bully is Trevor. He's only. He's not really a bully. <laughs> no, I don't even remember if he's like does anything <laughs> later on. But yeah, <laughs> they were like, or it would be something where it's like it starts out as like, oh, look at this random stuff happening. But then it's like after a few episodes, you sort of realize there's some sort of overall sinister force at work or something like that, right? And it's the wall. Like, it's not the trolls. It's yeah. the wall. Oh my god! Don't give me Attack <laughs> on Titan flashbacks. No. Yeah. Um, but. That's, I'll just say, uh, this, you know, I guess you could say this is a spoiler, but not really. But at least in season one, that's not, that doesn't happen at all. There is no overall, like, antagonistic anything, really. Um, mm -hmm. It's just, you know, adventures and stuff that happens. And it's, you know, there's a few things that are semi-connected, but not in a way of, like, you know, an antagonist or something. So, yeah. and, you know, that stuff, I'm not saying that stuff is inherently bad or whatever. Like, you know, there's definitely, like... Gravity Falls and Owl House are sort of, you know, this kind of quirky, magical-esque kind of reality that has that starts off as, like, here's random adventures, but then it builds into a whole thing. But, like, it, I think it works here because, again, because of the tone, because of the mood, it's like you don't need an antagonist for this, mm. just to just kind of enjoy everything. It's kind of just lighthearted fun, and it's not trying to be anything else. Yeah. And... I've said this before, but I, I really like uh, Hilda and her mom, how they yeah, work together. Yeah, their relationship. Yeah, it's just you know they're they, they're both like realistic people in terms of like you know they're not like perfect for with everything they do, but it's clear that they both want to make the other person happy. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, it's just it's a really nice sort of it's a really nice dynamic they have. Her mom has really funny reactions. <laughs> it's funny also because, like, you know, it, it, they, of course the world, you know, people know about the world that's going on, right? Because oftentimes also in a lot of these shows, they'll be like, you know, oh, the kid finds out about all these magical creatures and, you know, has to like, you know, all these adults don't even think they exist or whatever. But that's not what's happening mm. here, right? They they kind of, they everyone just like, yeah, we're in this world and there's some weird stuff going on. Okay, right? Um... But, like, you know, Hilda kind of knows generally more than the average person, and, like, her mom also knows a decent amount of stuff, too. But, so you do get some kind of, you know, things that they discover and stuff like that. But, yeah, I don't know. It's just that they're, they're supportive of each other, and it's nice. Oh. <laughs> do we it... ever don't get to, like, do we ever learn what happened to Hilda's dad, or no? I don't think so. I mean, my assumption is either there was a divorce or he's dead. <laughs> Yeah. I, don't, I don't think he's ever mentioned. I don't remember, to be honest. Maybe he got eaten by a troll. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's definitely nice because, again, so often in these kinds of shows, either, like, yeah, the parents are, like, sort of antagonistic, the parents mm. are, like, treated as, like, a joke, or they're just, like, not involved at all. Right? Yeah. And that's not the case, so it's nice. It's nice to see an actual, like, positive, like, parental relationship. Mm. So... That's something that I particularly like, and yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just, it just makes you happy to watch it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like a nice breath of fresh air and a cup of hot cocoa. <laughs> so, I don't know, I presume at least everything I've been saying, you seem to ag agree with that, generally? Yes. 
<laughs> is there anything, I don't know, anything else you'd want to add that I haven't mentioned? Definitely would continue watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, as of right now, there's 13 episodes, but that's going to double in like a week, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> So, and I also I, I do like how like everyone's British. That's I don't know. It's just kind of. <laughs> I was nice kind of surprised see. by that. Yeah, I don't know because again, you know, every everyone's American and like all of these kinds of things. So it's just kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> so. I also appreciate how world building wise, it's like it happens organically too. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, it's by episode, but it's kind of like it introduces it doesn't dumb down the idea it's more of like oh there's like these things and every and there's never a point where people are like oh my god when have these things existed or mm -hmm. like discounted because as you said Dawn, they, they acknowledge that strange things can occur kind of yeah it's just it's just, it's a good time. It's a good, cozy show. And if you just want to experience it, sit back and just enjoy something nice, then I think this is a great option. Yeah. Self-care for 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, well, that was... Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to talk about something that one likes. <laughs> It's yeah, a lot easier to talk about things that one does not like. True, at the same time, though, as well, it's not like, you know, okay, what can we talk about? Like, there, we can't really do any, like, you know, plot analysis or anything. That's not really, you know, that's not Bicycles. really the point of this. Yeah, so... <laughs> it's a know. cute show about cute kids. Yeah, and yeah. it's not supposed to, it's not, you know, it doesn't have any, like, deep lore or anything. It's just, you know, it's just a good experience, and so that's all we need. So yeah, again, if even if you're a, you know, fucking grumpy ass old man like me, you can still enjoy this show. <laughs> or of course, if you have kids, show your kids this. Yeah. Maybe people will watch this and uh No, oh, never mind. I forgot where I was going with my show. <laughs> I hope like people don't like have their kids watch our videos cuz we swear a lot. At least Valen and I do. Well, <laughs> whatever. That's their own prerogative. <laughs> I guess, on on that note, assumingly the next movie is not going to be nearly as cozy. <laughs> well, we don't know, but um, speaking of next movies, uh, let's see. We had to replace Raiders of the Lost Ark with uh, something, and I believe it was random to be Harriet? Is that right? <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. So we, If... If we hadn't, like, deleted some of the movies that we'd already watched, it would have been Knives Out again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's watch Knives Out twice. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I presume we could guess what that movie's about. <laughs> uh, but... A cool-ass lady. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So that'll come up at some point. But for now, we have to see what we get for our movie here. Do we get the sad movie or the samurai movie? And we get apparently the sad movie. We get yeah, Coco. I'm gonna cry <laughs> next week. Oh boy. Get hyped. <laughs> I mean, okay, um, wait, so who has, has who has seen this before? I've seen this. Okay. I have not seen this. Okay, I have not cause... seen this either. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Um, I watched this two years ago on New Year's Day. Actually, it was a very odd time to have watched this movie. <laughs> but... Is this like the New Year's, like, 2019 New Year's? 2019 New Year's, okay. yeah. Not 2020. Not 2020. <laughs> no, I thought, like, it was either 2018 or 2019. You said two years ago. But, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Anyway, whatever. So, okay. And? And I really enjoyed it, actually. Uh, which I was like, I need to show this. And I warned my aunt, I was like, you're probably going to cry during this movie. Just I mean, that's not that hard to do. <laughs> just based on some of the themes and stuff like that. So mm. It is about Dia de los Muertos, so uh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know that and I know like 
uh, the very, well, I don't even know. I've heard, like, this most vague language possible regarding, like, quote, the moment, quote-unquote, that people like to say, but I don't even really specifically know what happens. I can kind of, I think I can guess based on what I have heard, but I don't know. Mm. So, yeah. I'm not going to say anything, we're <laughs> just going not. to... <laughs> We'll just experience Coco. We're like a month late, but oh well, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's mm. that. We go from yeah. uh, something very wholesome and happy to something very wholesome and somewhat happy and then uh, to not Sad. happy. Sad? <laughs> Bittersweet? I don't know. It still goes with autumn. That's true. Yeah. We're just trying to, you know, avoid winter, I guess, for as long as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, we had winter really early on in summer with Home Alone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When did we watch that? Was that August or September? I don't even remember. It was one of those. Very oddly timed. It was. Oh, well. Oh, well. But we get Coco now. So. Yes. See you next week for that. Bye. Bye.